Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos on everything marine electronics related. Today we'll be walking you through replacing the bushings on your Simrad AP16, AP25, or AP26. In order to do this, you will need your Simrad unit, a small flathead screwdriver, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and a package of new bushings which can be purchased at MaxMarineElectronics.com. Remove the four screws from the back and set aside for later. Gently and evenly pry the front and back of the control unit until the back cover is separated from the front of the unit. Once it is loose, it can be removed and set aside for later. Pinch the bottom of the old bushings and pull away from the circuit board, being careful not to damage the pins or circuitry. Check the circuit board for any water damage and make sure the pins are clear of any debris left over from the old, failing bushings. Gently squeeze the new bushings through the port on the back of the control unit by pushing the lip and pushing it through at an angle. It's going to be a tight fit, so you're going to want to use the small flathead screwdriver to help push the top of the bushing through if needed. Gently push the lock nut down onto the new bushing while keeping the pressure on the back of the bushing. Pinch the top and lightly twist the lock nut to work it onto the new bushing. Again, it's a pretty tight fit, so if needed, use a small flathead screwdriver to help the lip of the bushing pass through the lock nut. Make sure the notch on the inside of the lock nut is rotated towards the top right of the porthole. Line up the back cover with the new bushings to the SimNet and RobNet 2 pins attached to the circuit board. Once aligned, gently press down the back cover near the lock nuts and push the pins through the holes. Be sure the pins go all the way through by pressing down evenly around the top and bottom of the lock nuts. Screw the back cover onto the control unit 